Well, good morning, good morning, good morning, every. How are y'all doing on this fine Sunday morning and or afternoon for some of you? I know Sean reads probably afternoon or evening. I'm not totally sure the time zone changes, but anyways, we are back yet again, finally, to close out the Walton Files. Uh, as far as doing a stream with Hubby to go over the weird cartoon uh, promos, I don't know when that will happen yet. I still have to figure that out with him. But until then, I will figure it out, and I will keep you guys updated. Um, why is it dropping frames? I am not sure what's happening. Huh. What are you doing, OBS? I guess it's okay now, but weird. Before we get into the fun, fun videos, I'm going to say hello to everybody that's in the chat. We've got Octane Junkie. We've got OBL. We've got Sean Ree, uh, Quiet Try, and Chris Wolf, and Peter Herk. Oh, and Jacob Golsiniavo. Hello, 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 everybody. I hope you are all doing just fine today. I'm doing it fantastically, and I'm ready to get into some spooky, scary shenanigans. I hope you guys are as well. Cut out for me briefly for a second. Yeah, it dropped for frames for some reason for a second there. I'm not sure why. Usually don't have that kind of problem, but we'll keep an eye on it. Hopefully it won't be a continuing problem. I'm guessing it might be just something in OBS being weird. Looks fine to me now, but... Why don't we go ahead and get into the content? Because we have a lot of it today. Uh, we have how many videos remaining? We got one, two, three, four, five, six of them. Most of them are very short. Two of them are 30 plus minutes long. So we gotta boom, 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 get this all done, guys, before we can close this one out. That's part of why I'm doing it early, just because I have so much going on today and I know that it's gonna take a while to get through some stuff. Without further ado, uh, this is Boozoo's Ghost. This is yet again another file non-canon video made for fun. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year's. So it's non-canon, I guess. So do we need to watch it? If it's non-canon, then I don't think it matters. Let's go to the next one. Uh, uh, this is just a small video I put together in what, four to five days, I think. It's really nothing big, and I only made it because of the delay of episode three. I want to clarify this video is not canon. Okay, so we don't need to look at that one either. Yay. Okay. So there's a gore warning. This is the first one that actually is part of the canon. Um, viewer's discretion is advised, so let's see what this is. It's only like 49 seconds. It's not canon, I'm not playing it. Viewer discretion is strongly advised. This is Sophie, this is the daughter, I believe. Oh, shit! Octane Junkie with the $99.99. The $100, don't know. Dude, thank you very much. 07's in the chat to Octane Junkie for the very, very generous, generous as hell, don't know. I need to go get that set up. Or get that updated. In the stream labs. But we'll see if that pops up in a second. Heartbeat. Very. That sounds like somebody is very scared. Um, and I'm sure that this is probably her freaking out while she's at the storage facility, which I would 100% freak out too. Oh. I don't like the sound of that. That's the sound of snapping bones. There it is. Let's, let's, let's do the right one for him, shall we? Because it's supposed to play something else. So let's go ahead and get that played and do the fun that goes along with it. Get away from her, you bitch! Yeah! Ripley time! Hell yeah! Do, 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 do. 
All right. Thank you again, Octane. That is extremely, extremely gener generous of you. Let's get this again. Oh. 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 That's. Oh, it didn't snap the neck. It took a bite out of the head of Sophie. Uh, oh, shite. That's pretty... Who did that? Was that... Was that Vaughn? Was that the goober? I don't know. Maybe we'll find out. Wait, what did that say? Hold on. Did it say... I guess you have to play it backwards and... Oh, shit, that's creepy. Um... I don't know what to say about that, but that's, uh, that's, that's something else. Um, and that is very loud, so I'm gonna turn that down for you guys so it doesn't blow your ears out. Oh, the hyper-realistic eye, too. Okay, let's bring this back up again. Uh, it's an access-restricted MP4. Character here is Banny. Walton Files belongs to Martin Wills. Once again, I drew the art, did it in the video. Hope you enjoy. It's another really short one, but I'm sure it'll be just as creepy. What's my opinion on the new Fallout TV series? I have only watched, like, bits and pieces of it. I'm not really uh v very familiar with the fallout series because i didn't play any of the games but i've heard nothing but good things of it and the one episode i did watch was pretty cool um i liked the concept of it but i'm not sure i would actually watch the whole thing but uh, again i've heard really good things about it my husband loves it so i guess it's cool can't really give you much else than that because i've only watched an episode how much is that dot in the window the one with the black retail how much is I'm not sure that I want to give you a puppy dog. Because I'm not totally sure if you're going to eat it or not. And I don't really want that. <laughs> I really don't. So let's, uh, let's not give you the puppy dog. Is that doggy in the window? I do both. That doggy is forced. Oh. Shh. Jaw's gone. Eyes are gone. Oof. Hey, what's up, B-Soms? Feel coming. But yeah, um, she's suddenly very dead inside, and that creeps me the hell out. I'm definitely not giving you the dog. Oh. Smiles Incorporated, Bunville, Miles Inc., Bunny Smiles Inc. has restricted access to this tape. Hmm. Bunny Smiles Incorporated has restricted access to this tape. Good lord, it's Bunny loud. Bunny Smiles Incorporated has restricted access to this tape. Bunny Smiles Incorporated has restricted access to this tape. Bunny Smiles Incorporated has restricted access to this tape. Bunny Smiles Incorporated. Is that it? Oh. Alright, Triple J. Uh, hope you're feeling better today. But, uh, fair enough. Me and Devil Pup are only on episode four so far. Hey, if you guys are liking it, then heck, cool beans, man. Today, Pokemon TCG day for me, so I'll be lurking until then. Sick. I don't play the game, but I do collect. And I really wish I could buy more of the uh, newer sets, but unfortunately, I'm strapped. <laughs> so, it is what it is. Um. I'm guessing that's... A bunch of stuff that needs to be played backwards, and I don't know how to do that, so hehe. <laughs> Uh, oh, looks like we're gonna see a creepy version of Chanri, which is gonna be fun. Uh, this character is Shaw of Walton Files. I think we have this and one more. Let us out. Let us out. How about no? Much better gonna go to church today with your grandparents. I'm glad to hear that. I really am. 
hopefully it's a good time and you feel a lot better and you feel closer to your grandparents. That's what matters, honestly, especially when you're in a bad spot uh, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. But uh, yeah, Sh Shanri, what, why, why you got to be so creepy? What, why? You scares me. He scares me. Jeez, that's loud. Alrighty. I think this is the very last episode um, that we're going to do. And I guess this is going to be a shorter one than I expected. Honestly, I was I thought the other ones were canon, but they're not. So if they're not canon, they don't matter to me. I want the canon. Sean Connery. Lol. But uh, it says... Tape four, here we are again, mystery solvers. COVID cooled down, and after three years, we finally got my aunt's VCR to work. You're adorable. <laughs> that one is uh, creepy as shit, though. I have so much to say, but I'm going to start off with the technical stuff first. Back when I found the Bunny Farm tapes, I was met with a dead end. Bunny Smiles Incorporated, Bonds Burgers gave no more results. Locals had no more info. I went back to Connecticut to live with my dad. That was until my friend David approached me with an amazing find. David decided to ask locals about the terms Walton instead. Apparently, that's a name that pops up a lot in tapes, but haven't watched tapes myself, lol. We were directed to a vintage strip mall that had this one bowling alley, Starley's. Originally, there was a workshop in the building instead, and when they moved everything out, the Starley's and Starley's bought the space. One locker remained labeled Walton inside a box with a cheap safe. Apparently the box has set, sat there for decades because they haven't managed bothered to open it. Me, Ron, and David did some digging through the previous tapes and noticed a pattern. The code was 722. Curious. Inside, there were a total of 23 tapes. I moved back to Brighton, Michigan to help my friends fix, clean, and compile these tapes into what we call the Cyberfun Tech Collection. This is part one of three. Cyberfund Tech is a company that funded and created most BSI projects. It's unclear whether CT owned BSI or whether they were simply partner companies. But perhaps CT bought BSI at some point. Either way, all the tapes were labeled Cyberfund Tech, and supposedly these were supposed to be handed over to technicians and artists. I should note, some, of, some bits of the compilation are weird on some screens. It would appear as minutes and minutes of empty static and on other screens it would appear to be a white screen with faint voices heard on them as for me i'm doing great the past three years were filled with some of my happiest and saddest moments but i'm still standing i'm going out on vacation with my girlfriend for a few weeks i'll post parts two and three when i return the end of the month uh and this was february and we still don't have one yet so um have i ever thought of adding Mr. Nightmare's videos regarding true horror stories. Ah, uh, maybe I'd do a one-shot off, but um, I, I don't... I think that's more of Nox Archives with speed. I kind of like the um, analog and ARG form of horror a little bit more, um, and covering the stuff like true crime that's more my speed so i don't know if if some if like my audience really wanted me to i might do like a one-off shoot of it but I, I don't think i would do it on a regular basis if that makes a little bit of sense peter Alrighty, let's start the very last video is 37 plus minutes long so or it's 36 18 so it's almost 37 minutes long so why don't we go ahead and start Wonder what we're gonna see. Balloon. Everybody floats down here. <laughs> I had to. I really had to. Especially since it was Kim Tim Curry's birthday this week. Is it just... Okay, now it's blue. Purple. Orange. Silver. Blue. Okay, I don't know about you guys, but this is some liminal space shit, and it freaks me out. Like, it looks real, but it also looks like it's dreamlike. And that's so uncanny valley that I can't... I can't put into place why it creeps me out, but it does. 
I was gonna say it vibes. Yes. Octane Junkie gets me. Oh, this is the party. Ooh, this is the party before, um... Absolute Prick kills the two kids. Because he couldn't not drink and drive. Uh, that was infuriating. Yep. Poor kids. Hey, thank you for being a member for 15 months. Scare Fiend Spectre, I really, really appreciate it. Thank you, man. Much love back. Come on, Molly. Let's go. Poor kids. These poor fucking kids, man. This way. I'm not gonna read that, but yes, Triple J. Yes, it is. Drunk as shit, stooped over the table. God damn. My question is, why would you have an adult zone with alcohol when you're supposed to be chaperoning children? Riddle me this, Batman. Oh, they went to the light. The bright light that is heaven. Less edge. Guess we're in a field now? Now we're getting to the BSI tape part. Um, Cause yeah, the, the description said that this was all basically BSI tapes by Cyberfun Tech. But would, I wonder why that would be started with that particular scene again. Hmm. Curiouser and curiouser. Well, we've seen this before, pretty much. Creepy as shit. Nobody would be having a good time there. It's creepy. Scare the shit out of kids. They'll chase our dreams across the sky. Well, <laughs> a couple of his Walton's kids are in the sky. If by the sky, I mean heaven. Because of, uh, shitty, shitty person, uh, Felix. Wife totally should have left you sooner. There's a comic I go to that's called BSI Comics. Nice. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Because in the 70s and 80s, uh, people were just not as uptight about doing certain activities around kids within reason, obviously. It's, but it's that stupid octane. All kinds of fucking dumb. How are you gonna chaperone kids when you're plastered off your ass? I don't think your kids want to see you, uh, drunk and, like, unruly. Nobody wants that. Shitty, shitty, bang, bang, lol. Indeed, lamal. Or as Call would say it, emal. Alexa, play spirit in this. <laughs> I can't say that because I will probably activate the Alexa downstairs. It it creeps me out. It hears me all the way from up here. I hate that. I hate those things. But Hubby wants them because he likes to listen to Spotify while he cleans, so... Hmm. Ideal. Although I think he wants to get rid of them, too. I love that it's, like, creep. It's, like, fun, and then cut in of creepy as shit, and then fun again. Like, it's not supposed to be there. Love that stuff. Oh, it's got a menu and everything. Bonds Burgers promo, Cyberfund programming, demo, Shaw joint movement, BSI cleaning procedure. The point is to show restraint also. Parents used to do that too. Mine always did. My parents, uh, they did drink, but they didn't get drunk. At least not often that I remember. I think they were a little more responsible. Now they don't give a shit because they're adults. 
Ooh, the glitchy. Gotta love the glitching. Gotta keep our eyes out, too, because there's gonna be creepy stuff in this thing. Galore. There always is. Funny Smells Incorporated, there's a little book we are seeing in the thumbnail. I know a good analog horror. I don't know if you ever featured. It's called Woodlands National Park. I think I have. National Park. Uh, analog horror. I think I have. Yep, I've done this one before. And I probably need to go back and update myself on it. Because uh, it was a while ago. But I have done it if you go back in my uh, Halls of Horror series. I did that in another se shorter series as well that was interesting. I'm actually very excited to see what else uh, this comes up with. Or it comes up with. This creeps me out even more, and I I don't I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Uh, what would a Doom analog horror be? I have no idea, but it would probably be cool. I swear there's a photo of me as a kid passed out on a wood floor with red solo cups around my body like traffic cones. That's, uh, hmm. Uh, and anybody remember Showbiz Pizza? It was like a discount Chuck E. Cheese. No, I've never heard of that. So that's that's news to me. Don't worry, I'll hold your hand. I I think Abraxas would like that, Chowdhury. I think he'd like you to hold his hand before you throw him through a wall again. Lol. <laughs> Buzu, you fucking scare me. Your eyes go in different directions and I'm not totally sure where you're looking and that bothers me to no end. Fix it. Oh, hi, Banny. It's somehow disquieting that Banny, who's supposed to be female, is singing, uh, with a male voice. That's kind of... Mmm. Uh, I, I don't watch Red Letter Media, so I, I don't understand the reference, but that's, that's a cool little fun fact. Triple J. But yeah, again, uh, a, a female robot... Singing with a man's voice is a little bit suspect. It's a little sussy vodka. Imagine yourself as a kid looking at that. How are you not screaming bloody murder? Because I definitely would be screaming and running away. Fuck that shit. Fuck all of that shit. Boo Boo looks like... He was one of those weird spiked German World War I helmets. It's just a top hat, though. It does look really weird, though. I will agree with you. I know it's not 420, but I feel like I'm tripping balls looking at that. Is anybody else tripping balls looking at this? Because I certainly am. LSD trip. Again, a female sheep singing with a male's voice. Some kids aren't afraid of animatronics. I, I, I understand that, but these are creepy ass looking animatronics. Like, I was never scared of the stuff at Pirates of the Caribbean. 
But this is like on a whole other level of fucking creepy. Nah, I'm used. I'm so used to that. Fair enough. Fair enough, Shanri. <laughs> What are these songs? They all sound the same. Hey, we're tripping again. Tripping balls. Oh, did you see that? Did you see that? I know we remember this little door here. It's bad news bears, everybody. Bad news bears. I guess I'll do the YouTube thing and say like and share the stream also, by the way. If you are not subbed, sub to the channel. We are almost to 1,500 subs. Let's go. Woo! Bon. This all sounds like some distorted beach boys, like, music. Is that what they were going for? The sheep and rabbit are the creepiest of the lot. I will agree with you. Vaughn is creepy as shit. Banny is creepy as shit. All of them are creepy as shit. Ugh. Uh, Vaughn is Gotta go. See you in an hour and a half. Have a good one. I probably will not be live by then, but thank you for stopping by, Obi Valley. I really appreciate it. The only way I'll accept that Triple J is if it's in Gene Wilder's voice. Only way I'll accept it. Whoa, hold on. Pause. Something's blurred out. That looks like Walton. I need to teach. Oh, hi. I need to teach Knox how to do this. Um, he's looking at us, and I don't like it. Just stared at us. Oh, that's the animatronics. <laughs> that's not creepy at all. Ha 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 ha. Wah 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 wah. Beautiful, isn't it? No, it's not. This is one of the first mech models built by Cyberbond Tech to bring the magic of Bond's burgers to life. Today, we'll take a journey. Yeah, uh, seeing a, a, a funny jester robot it totally makes this any better. It totally makes this more fun. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. No, it doesn't. Of the showstoppers and how they were created. You might learn a thing or two about the quality of our company. Equality in that all of you get consumed by the infected robots or whatever. I don't necessarily understand exactly what is going on yet. He's back again. Hello again, Walton. Concept art, okay. They look cuter in the, these pictures, but those animatronics are not cute whatsoever. They are f fucking creepy. Like, look at how cute those- that's adorable. You didn't translate that very well to the fucking animatronics at all. At all. These are the showstoppers. The face of Bunny Smiles Inc. Concept. Alrighty, have a wonderful rest of your day, Shanri. Thank you for stopping by, I really appreciate it. Art is a very vital part of any good design. So many different ideas to... Oh, what was that? To... to s anything? What's that say? Art department. The bunny's 
Smiles Incorporated Weird how that cut out. was in charge of pitching up multiple designs for the characters. And creating the designs we all know and love. Okay. <laughs> I like that Shaw's right by the picture because we know she was stuffed into Shaw. He made her beautiful again, guys. <laughs> That's not a reference to anything at all. Nope. Nope, totally coinkadink that her picture's right next to Shaw. Who's Mary Walton, loving wife of... He's a brilliant artist with a huge passion. That's also a good, very good touch, is that they black out his name. Like, he who shall not be named. For poetry and the theatrical, and has done numerous art pieces before becoming the lead artist in BSI. She's the one in charge of making the final designs that would later become the characters they are today. I think I always had a pretty clear idea of how each character looked like, in my mind. The designs just made sense to me. I wanted to make them seem appealing to younger audience, while still being simple enough so they can be easy to remember. Yeah, that's... Oh, hold on. He, he made her beautiful again, guys. <laughs> yeah, he did, totally. <laughs> oh, that's very unsettling and creepy. Animatronics. Okay. My least favorite part. Bunny Smiles originally reached Cybertron to make their blueprints for the animatronics. But we all got so invested to the idea that we decided to have a full partnership with BSI. I'm Susan Winnick. Uh, what the fuck is that? I, ah, uh, I'm not sure what it is, but it's creepy. And I know that it's referencing something, just not sure what. I'm Susan Winnick, the lead technical engineer of Bunny Smiles. Designed a building. Mmm. I remember seeing her before. Look at that kid's face, yeah, that, that would be me. Oh, run away. Run away, run away, fuck this shit, I'm out. Gosh, those animatronics are creepy as shit. Ew. Ew. Ugh. That's creepy. That's very creepy. I don't like this. Stop it. We added a ton of features into the models. We managed to even make them have the ability to walk and interact with the audience. Shh. Fuck his face. Creeps me the hell out. All day long creeps me the fuck out. God damn. Why is it blinking? Why are you blinking at me? Oh, this is... Hold on. There's some stuff flashing on the screen. That's her face. I think she's inside of Banny, maybe? This is backwards, but I can't read it. You trying to make me let you in? I'm not doing it. Not doing it. Wait, what was that? Go back. Susan has been struggling to breathe. Yep. Yep. <laughs> so AI androids, mistake number one, indeed. You have what image? JJJ. Or Triple J. Of this flipped the right way? Because if you do, yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, if you have it, send it to me and I'll pull it up. Yeah, definitely. I'll, I'll read it out. 
Yep, yeah, shoot it to me. Shoot it to me in Discord. I'll wait. I don't want to go too far from that particular spot just yet. We shall wait. I wish to show this. I do. I'll be wait. How is everybody doing? I'm doing just fine. I am hanging in there. Just chilling. Bing chilling. Uh, he hasn't sent it to me yet. I guess I'll continue. I don't want it to be paused too long. Oh, hello. Creepy motherfucker. Can you not? Can you just not do that? That'd be great. The this is where all the information on current is stored in the There it is, okay. Uh... Okay, so it says... Let's... Mr. Kranken, this is Norming, I'm sending you this half of our deal between Bunny Smiles and Cybertech. Most importantly, the well-being of our... We've been getting a lot of complaints. Staff going missing, who are highly... Oh, so they've been fucking people up. The team at Wooding has been something for a week. Cyber fun. It's really hard to read because the text is the same color as your skin tone. Uh, we can try and manage... Is there perhaps something to, but it's basically I'm saying that Susan's probably missing. Yeah, it's saying that Susan's gone missing, basically. Yikes. Mega yikes. Thank you very much for that, J Triple J. Sing, interact with the audience, etc. That's how they managed to feel so lifelike to our audience. The console's also able to recognize specific people and places. Interesting, but also creepy. Okay. These are just notes for the animatronics, but we all know at this point that Susan's gone missing. I think she's in Banny. And she can't breathe. Oh, hello again, Bon. What other creepy stuff are you going to show us here? Mmm. You still come off as Pennywise to me, and I don't know if I like that or not. Pennywise is still creepy. Still creepy as shit. Knock around, Tess. Yeah, don't worry, it's working. First we need to... Is the console on? Yes, yes, Charles, I just told you. Alright, alright. Uh, I'm just checking if everything's going. Well. I know, don't worry. This isn't the first test we need to do with the robots. Alright, great. You're taking notes, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I am. Right. <coughs> test 203. Movement. Movement. Alright. Alright, so... But let me get the console working. Yeah. Okay, I guess this is showing where the people are. In the room, maybe? Ah, this is how it's supposed to go. We place the tunnel objects around the room. The animatronic is supposed to get to us without bumping into any of the tables, boxes, chairs, etc. Sounds good to me. And let me guess what it's gonna go wrong. Well, then we're just gonna have to test this out again until we get it right. It'll be a long night, then. <laughs> you said it. 
It's coming to get you. All right, everything seems fine so far. It's coming to get you. I don't think. Oh. 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 What happened there? Hmm. Facial tracing. I don't know if I really like that. I don't really know if I like the idea of a robot being able to like. I mean, we have it with our smartphones where we can open things with our- or unlock things with our face. But I still don't like that idea very much. I think it's really creepy. It opens us up to some weird conundrums, I'll call it. I'm not ready to go there. I know, I know. I'm just uh, a little worried. Did Linda call? She did, yeah. I'm gonna tell the answer to him. Knowing Felix, he's probably... Yeah, they're, they're doing tests and Felix is supposed to be there helping and he's not because he's plastered and out somewhere. Fucking drunk. Irresponsible. Is Murderer. Nope. I don't think Linda told him about it either. Susan, we have to tell them. I think even Chris knows about the addiction. Let's just fix them well for now, shall we? Why wouldn't you tell his partner? His business partner for this company that you're working for that his partner is drunk as shit because if he knew he probably wouldn't have him drive his kids to and from a party because knowing him because he's an alcoholic he's gonna get drunk and it's gonna be unsafe y'all should have told him right so uh i'm checking my notes right now what's up with this well, Norman said we should start testing the facial tracking feature, so we're going to have the robot walk around and see if it recognizes our faces. Well, we should check that already. Jack brought in Molly here, and the council recognized them. Well, yeah, but we're going to do a secondary test because the council seems to have trouble detecting the faces. Oh, the test we did with Sophie, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, we had... Oh, that's interesting. It recognizes two of the of the kids but it doesn't recognize sophie what what's that implication there i'm curious huh that's odd that's really by the way she's fine spending time with the mother for the weekend come to say hello to you Is that how it scans things? That's really odd. That's not creepy whatsoever. Susan. Okay. So it recognizes you. Okay. Cool beans. Charles Brooke. I don't recall seeing that name anywhere. Does anybody else remember if that name's popped up? Or is this just the first time he's coming into play? Because I don't remember hearing that name. Or seeing it anywhere. So that we got a new character, I guess, in the backstory. Huh. So that means no more testing for today? Ah, uh, please. I could really use a beer right now. I'm not sure what we were talking about earlier. Yeah. Charles is in Boozu. Oh, okay. That's who's in Boozu. Got it. Makes sense. They're all being made beautiful again, you know. What was that, though? It was like a room? I completely missed that. 
Oh shit, hi. Ha 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 ha. Peekaboo, I see you. Not sure what that is, but I saw it. I guess this is the inside of somebody's house. I'm assuming. Can we figure out what that name what that is? Let me see if I can read that. No. I cannot read that at all. But it's um May 13th, 1974. So I guess it's before the opening, maybe? I think. What does that mean? That's what I heard, man. He was drunk while driving the car. Mmm, so they found out about Felix. Oh, joy. That's the kind of reaction I'd have. Hello, Dream Core. Welcome. But, uh, yeah, that, I would be pretty pissed about that, too. If I heard that somebody drive, drove drunk with kids in the car and killed them. Oh, your voice off. Do you know what Alice told me to do? Did you tell her? It was private, Charles. Only the family left. I haven't heard of him in a long while. I barely even see him at work. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be anywhere near work or anywhere near anything that has to do with Felix. Um, after this. I'm curious what story Felix told them and what he might have lied about. You don't think Felix's story is a story, don't you? Story? I think it's bullshit. I think something else happened, man. Nothing worse. Is it gone? Yep. Molly and Ed? Yep. I don't even want to think about it. Get rid of that freaking fucking doll in the room. There's stuff in there. Feel like there is. Tell us not to young Gaffo for a scare. I don't even want to be involved in this shit anymore. I wouldn't want to be involved either. It's just showing where they're moving to, I guess. So what's gonna happen with the animatronics that are all around that room? I'm curious. I'm just trying to see what it does. I also kinda oh that moved. That was not that was over here earlier. Ooh, that moved. Okay. We got some movement. I like that it's kind of like a radar when it boop, boop, boop. I like that. But that's, that moved. It's going over here to where Charles will end up being. Oh. What are those blue squares? Is it infecting the... Face detected. It's alive! It's alive! It's alive! Who is it recognizing? Is it not recognizing it? Yeah. But whose face? Oh, it's both of the kids. No faces found. Whoa. Back that ass up. Oh, I think it's a mishmash of the kids. Oh, the kids have infected the doll. And then the doll's infecting the robots. Oh, no. That's not good. At least that's what I'm thinking is happening, at least. Well, uh, yes, I take my support. Audio log number three. It's doing it again. It's radaring. Oh, face. It's moving. The Josts are here. It's going over to Bon. Yep, it's going into Vaughn. Uh-oh. 
Oh, that's 100% not creepy whatsoever. It took over. It is taking over Bond. Oof. Hmm. I guess we're gonna see Susan being taken. It's gonna make you beautiful again. are gonna get you, Susan. They're coming to get you, Barbara. Like I was saying to Nox yesterday on his stream, it's dumb if you hear something weird and go look for it. Don't do that. Do not go look. Never go look. What's in the box? I don't like that's getting louder. Uh oh. He's making you beautiful again, Susan. Ooh, gross. Oh, she's gone. Snap. Crackle pop. And it's gonna put her inside of Banny. Her neck's been snapped, but she's still alive. She didn't die immediately. Ooh, that's scary as hell. Oh. She's gone. Damn, that's a really bad way to go. Yikes. Bon, you monster. You monster. But at least we're kind of seeing what's happening here. I'm going to pause really quickly. I need to go use the bathroom. So I will be right back.
I've returned. Let's finish this boy, bad boy up. Ah. Uh. Ugh, is he like a fan of his work? May 3rd, 1974. Oh, this is... Jack, I think. I'm honestly enjoying that they're filling in some of the story here, because... Everything is jumbled a little bit in the first set of videos, but now we're actually seeing it happen, which is good because it clarifies a lot of things and we can understand the story better this way. Is he drunk? Open the door. Open the door. He wants to know what happened to his kids. Because he obviously didn't find the bodies. Felix hid those. Ugh. Gonna beat that aft. Yep. Felix is gonna kick his... Felix is gonna get his ass kicked in. He's gonna get his shit kicked in by Jack. Because he killed his kids. I would be the same way. Ah, he sounds a little drunk. So I was I I was putting that out. It might be, but it that makes sense if he's emotional and really pissed off too. Doesn't see him anywhere. Is Felix dead? I would be the same way. May 3rd, 1974, 8.56 a.m. So he's... This is him out in the forest after the kids are dead. He's covered in fucking blood. I think this is him burying the kids. Because that's their doll. You fucked up, bro. You fucked up big time. Why is it that it's the the drunk person that survives these kind of crashes? It's always the drunk person that survives, somehow. I don't understand that. Yeah, he thought he was gonna he was gonna end himself, huh? Triple J. But he didn't, because he's a coward. He's an absolute fucking coward. And a shit human being. He should have died in that car crash. Not the kids. He deserved it, they didn't. That's so sad. Look at what you've done. He's probably hung over and now reality's hitting him. What he did. 
I'm gonna throw it in the ri the river or something. Yep. You shit human being. You absolute waste of air. Jesus H. Christ. I hope something happens to this guy in the, in the, in the story that gets him back for what he's done, because fuck, he deserves it. Nothing but the worst for this guy. Hungover killed your best friend's kids covered in blood, hiding evidence. Yep. It's not hiding, it's discarding evidence. I'm not gonna say what I'm thinking. Because it's not right. But... Do something in Minecraft. You can't, you're a coward. And nobody found all this blood that's trailed? Jesus. May 5th. Three days after the accident. I haven't been able to sleep since last week. Good. I finally told him what happened. Oh. It, it was in my office. Oh, 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 you did? And you probably lied. You didn't tell him the truth because, again... You're a coward. You are a yellow belly coward. Good lord. You need to go to fucking jail. Those were, were the longest hours of my life. The most painful conversation I've ever had. You shouldn't have had to have it. You shouldn't have been drunk. You should have been responsible. Pain in their eyes, the, the anger. Good. They should be sending the cops after you. Like, now. And I don't blame them. I have no idea what, what's going to happen to me now. My life, my business, everything. But, but the, fact, the fact that it's still buried down there, it haunts me every night. It should. You fucked up. You did an ungodly, horrible thing. Because you can't face the fact that your hubris, your idiocy, killed two children. Because you could not keep the bottle away for a single night. God. You're inside. Rosemary asked about the doll. I, I told her they, they that they left it at school. That's an obvious lie. Still time to turn this stuff in. He won't. He won't. That was a lie. Duh. I don't know what to do with the doll. Wherever I go, there it is. And I can't get myself to get rid of it. It's, like a it's your guilt following you. It is your reminder of what you did. It is a reminder of how fucking disgusting of a human being you are. Good. Let it consume you. Let it eat you up inside. Constant reminder of this huge mistake and how there's nothing I can do to make it better. Oh, hello. They're watching you. They've inhabited the rabbit. And they are watching you. They will get their revenge. Oh yes, they will. Open the door. Open the door.
ho, 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 ho. They're coming to get you, Felix. They're gonna get you. No. No. Suffer. Suffer like you made those kids suffer. No, you're not. No, you're not. Liar. They know you're not sorry. We know you're not sorry. Safa. So those kids may be inhabiting it. Making a uh, bon. No. They're inside the doll, but who's inside Bon? Is he eating the body? Nope, it's putting- nope. Putting her in Van- in Vanny. They're just watching. They don't care. I see nothing. I hear nothing. Oh, it's their eyes. Okay, so we know for sure that the kids have something to do with this. Quick, she's in here. Well, I, I don't think we should. You saw what he did to her. He hurt her. So they're trying to figure out what they... He made her bleed. I don't want her to be hurt anymore. It's not fair. Molly, that's not our problem. Please, Ed. We have to find her. She doesn't deserve this. We have to. Fine, but be quiet. Interesting. So, Ed doesn't care about what happens to the other adults because of what Bond's doing. But Molly has remorse. She doesn't like it. She doesn't want to torture anybody but Felix, it seems. Hello. Nope, she's on the other side now. They're greeting her. I notice how the kids look like they did when they died, and she looks like what she did when she died. Eww. You have popcorners? Nice. Are they gonna welcome her? I can, can hear, hear you. you. Ooh, who's that? Who the fuck is that? Yeah, she's in, she's on the other side. Don't you worry. You're in safe hands. Oh, I hate Susan. that. Welcome to Wonderland. Your new home. Isn't it beautiful? I love how it's spelled wrong. Oh, that's all upset. That's so disquieting. Oof. So, I'm thinking, I'm trying to figure out, so Felix is definitely going to get got, because of what he did. We know that Susan and Charles get got, and it's probably because they knew about Felix's habit, but didn't tell the Waltons. And because of that, the Waltons trusted it with the kids, and, and it resulted in the kids being killed. So, I wonder if their mother was put into Shaw because she put 
them in the hands of somebody who got them killed. I'm trying to put the pieces together. I think that makes sense. But we still don't know what happens to Jack. Jack. No, yes. No, 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 no. Yes. Not yet. Not yet. Ooh, she's not allowed to die. Body is now functionless. She's not allowed to die. Out there, you're slowly suffocating. But here, you're safe. The spirit doesn't pass on quite as fast as the body does. I would know. <laughs> to meet you. My name is Bon. Bon. And you're Susan. I've had my eye on... So this is the thing that's inhabiting Bon. That's doing all of this. You. I know you very Oof. well. Danny's face. That is the new you. A wonderful gift that will eventually become your new body. Just like a beautiful butterfly. Uh. I have a feeling that there isn't any other option. She doesn't have a choice. What other choice do you have? Exactly. A spirit can survive without being tethered to a vessel. I know you're scared. I was too. Who the fuck is blind? For what I had to do to you. But look, the hard part is over with now. Besides, you can't make an omelet without breaking a few eggs. Ooh. You have to break her in order to fix her again. in there. And he disappears. Did she... And I'm assuming she did take the... Did take the mask. Both gone. You can't. They're still stuck in purgatory. They can't move on. So, 
I think that's it. I don't think there's anything else. Right? Continue to part two. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Alrighty, guys. It's been about an hour and a half, and I'm ready to go do other things. I hope you guys enjoyed this little bit to close out for now, The Walton Files. I will keep an eye on it to see if anything else pops up, and if it does, we will come to this at a later time, just like we will with everything else. I think next weekend is going to be a mix-up of things. I'm probably going to go back to uh, watch the Ningen, and maybe mo Modern Day Mythos, one or the other, um, to get the current Monument Mythos stuff out of the way. But until then, I will see you next time. Sweet nightmares. Fight me one time. Fight me twice. Oh, ah. Mm. That's rather nice. Frankenstein. Freaks and grubs. Scream out loud. You're out of love. Crime so beastly. to Busan. And what a beautiful werewolf queen we have inside it. She slides a path of hell with a foul death beside it. Love.